All right, we're at Sturgis High School with their head wrestling coach, Mike Abel. And Mike, I know you grew up around wrestling. Your dad, Bill, is the uh, head wrestling coach up at Belfouche. Yeah, he's been there, um, I don't even know, probably six years, five, six years, and he was in Newell before that. Um, and then he was my assistant uh, coach when I was in high school. Um, so I've been around the sport a long time. And you were at Lee Deadwood High School? Yeah, my last couple of years, I wrestled my, my first part of my career, if you want to call it a career, in Spearfish, and then I finished up in Lee Deadwood. We moved up there my junior year. So what are the highlights of your career? Uh, you know, I don't have a lot of highlights. <laughs> no um, state champion? No, no state championships. Uh, my senior year, I had, a, I had a foot injury. I broke my foot my senior year, um, so I was kind of a letdown. Um, but no, you know, mine, a lot of what I coach or what I do, uh, is the things that went wrong or that I didn't do. Uh, those are my points of emphasis for these kids. So you can tell them what not to do. Yeah, yeah, really. I mean, it's, you know, I tell them, like, there's there's no glory in it for me. I just don't want kids to make the same mistakes. Not, you know, not saying I didn't do do it the right way, but, you know, I know looking back, I could have I could have went harder in the room. I could have trained harder in the offseason, um, done more wrestling in the offseason, things like that. Boy, kids that here at Sturgis do things the right way. They do, you know. Um, they work hard in the room. Um, we have quite a few kids that wrestle outside of the season. Uh, kids are lifting in the mornings. We lift two days a week in the mornings. We have a, a weightlifting program that we're getting involved in in the, in the summertime. Um, you know, we did a big summer duel this year that a lot of kids were involved in. So, so yeah, we have, we have a lot of good things going with kids. And you've already had some, uh, some good wrestling competition. How are the guys doing? Good so far. You know, we're young. We got third up in Mandan um, two weeks ago. We got ninth in Rapid last, just two days ago. Uh, but that's one of the deepest tournaments you'll find in the five state region. Um, and then dual wise, you know, we had a big win against Aberdeen uh, last Thursday, um, which I, I thought was going to be a, a pretty close dual for us. We ended up beating them 60 to 9. Uh, so that was nice. But we got a big duel against Stevens on Thursday coming up. Um, that'll be our toughest test so far. Uh, and then we go to the Madison invite this coming Saturday. Who are some of the top leaders in your seniors? Um, you know, our senior class is small. We only have four seniors. We got Clayton Smith is a returning state place winner. Uh, he got eighth, fourth last year. He's down a weight class. Uh, so, you know, we're hoping to see good things out of him. We have a returning state qualifier, uh, Taylor Cofield. Um, Evan Osborne is a kid that's a, or not, sorry, Evan Ob Osborne's a junior. Um, Brett Kantz is a, a returner for us as a senior. Um, he wasn't able to finish the season last year, uh, so his is kind of his whole career is kind of wrapped up in this one season. You know, he's been a JV kid off and on for the last three years, uh, and we have high hopes for him. Um, but our senior class is pretty small. You know, when we lose this group, it's always sad to see the seniors go. Uh, but it's not a, a group like two years ago when we lost eight seniors that were all you know, state place winners, state qualifiers. Um, so yeah, it's always sad to see them go, but this one's not gonna hurt us as bad. Um, and even next year, our junior class is pretty small. We're freshman, sophomore loaded right now. Speaking of those young kids, got some young ones coming up that want to make a name for themselves as Scooper Wrestling? For sure. Um, our freshman, sophomore class is really talented. Our seventh and eighth grade class is really talented. Uh, we have um, a couple, you know, we have a freshman in Reese Jacobs who placed as an eighth grader last year at 145, which is uh, kind of unheard of at that upper weight. Um, and he's a freshman this year wrestling 170 uh, and doing really well. He's a big, athletic, strong kid, Ren Jacobs' little brother. Um, so he's been around wrestling his whole life as well. But yeah, we have some, some very talented kids coming up in those seventh through sophomore classes. Okay, well, we'll be rooting for the Scoopers uh, this whole wrestling season. Thank you.